Okay, hi. So in this chapter, we're going to learn how to place transactions into the accounting equation. So the accounting equation is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. This is how accountants stay in balance. Each transaction will affect at least two areas or two categories, which is going to keep us in balance. So assets are everything that a business owns that's going to benefit them in the future. Liabilities are everything that business owes. An owner's equity is made up of money the owner puts into the own business, that's called his capital, money the owner takes out of the business, called drawing, revenues, and in this case we're a delivery service, so anything that we deliver is a revenue for us, any money that we make when we deliver is a revenue for us, and expenses or items that are um, incurred to help us make those revenues. So let's get started. Transaction A, and I went ahead and typed them out here just so it'd be convenient. Transaction A says, Rowan Maxson opened a bank account with a deposit of $2,000 for his business. So, the business is brand new, and he just deposited money into his business. So, money is called cash, and his cash went up for his business. We're just accounting for his business. And so we ask ourselves, well, where did he get that money? Well, he put his own personal money in. So that's called Rowan Maxson Capital. This is where you put owner's personal money into the business. That's the only time you're ever going to use this account is if the owner put personal money into the business. $2,000. All right. So we're going to go on to transaction B, and it says that Maxon purchased a motor scooter for the business for cash of $1,200. So he's going to use these motor scooters to help him make his deliveries. And so it says that he bought it for $1,200 cash. So since he used cash, cash goes down. What did he get? He got an asset. He got delivery equipment. So delivery equipment goes up. All right, so we're still in balance here because um, on the left-hand side, we have a negative 1,200 and a plus 1,200. That equals zero. Nothing happened over here. And that's because he's really in the same economic situation as he was before this. He basically traded some cash for some delivery equipment worth the same amount. So that's why it just affected the asset side. All right, balance, B-A-L, stands for balance is when we're going to find out what's the balance in cash right now. All right, well, it equals $2,000 minus 1,200. So that's our balance in cash. We don't have anything in accounts receivable. In delivery equipment, we just have $1,200. And in his capital account, just that $2,000 that he put in. And so that's where we are. So we need to make sure that we're in balance. We're going to add up all of our assets. Cash all the way over here to delivery equipment. I can look down here, and I can see that my sum is 2000 Add up all my liabilities plus owner's equity. That equals $2,000. So I am in balance because my assets equal my liabilities plus owner's equity. So that's just a quick check that you'll do each time. Letter C says that he purchased another motor scooter for $900, but this time he didn't have the money, so he spread the payments over the next three months. So whenever you don't pay for it now, but you owe it, that's a liability. So we're going to put that $900 in liability. His balance just went up. It's kind of like your credit card statement balance going up when you owe money. Okay, so what did he get for that? He got more delivery equipment, $900 more. Let's get some new balances here. We still have $800 in cash because cash didn't change. Now in our delivery equipment, we have 1,200 plus 900. We owe a total of 900. And he still has the same amount right here, $2,000. All right, letter D says, Rowan paid the first installment of the scooter of $300. So it says that he paid, paid means cash, goes down by $300. And by the way, Excel is automatically putting in my negatives as parentheses, which is very common in accounting to see negative numbers be in parentheses. So that's why you see those parentheses. All right, and what did he pay down? He paid down his liability. So he used to owe 900. We need to reduce that by 300. So we're gonna put in 300 there. 
New Balance is 800 minus 300, so he's got $500 in cash. He still has delivery equipment of $2,100 because nothing changed that there. All he did was pay down the loan that got him that delivery equipment. So he did owe $900. He paid off $300 of it, so now he owes $900 minus $300, just $600 more. He still has the same amount in capital. Letter E. Rowan receives $500 cash from clients for delivery services. So if he receives cash, cash goes up. So cash goes up for $500. What did he get that from? He got that from delivering to his clients. That's his revenue. So we're going to put it in revenue. All right, let's go see what our balance is. He had 500. He just got 500 more, so now he has $1,000 in cash. He still has the same amount in delivery equipment. He still owes $600. He still has $2,000 that he originally put in on that first day. And now he earned some revenues of $500. Let's make sure that we're in balance. Our total assets equal 3,100. Our total liabilities plus owner's equity also equal 3100 so we are in balance. Letter F says pay $200 for office rent for June. Pay $200. That tells us that cash goes down. And I'm pausing there so that you can sort of think about it with me um, to help you start to practice these ideas. So the word paid cash tells me cash goes down $200 minus 200. All right, what did he get for that? He got the use of that building for one month. So that is an expense. And the reason why it's an expense is because he needed that office building to help him make revenues. And that's the definition of an expense. Things that you pay out that are only going to benefit you that month, that's an expense. So I'm making that differentiation because it's important. Let me give you an example. Things you pay out, that tells you cash. But watch this. If I paid out and bought a car, that's going to last me a lot longer than a month, right? So that would have been an asset, something over here. But watch this. If I paid it out for gasoline, that's not going to last me very long, right? So that would be an expense. So you ask yourself, what did I get? Something that's going to last me a long time? That's an asset. Something that's not going to last very long and it just got used up, that's an expense. All right, so negative 200, I put it in as a negative because it goes, um, it reduces his owner's equity. All right, new balance. 1,000 minus 200 is 800. Still have $2,100 in delivery equipment. Still owe $600 towards one of those pieces of delivery equipment that I haven't paid off yet have $2,000 in capital, have $500 in revenues, have negative $200 in my expenses. Letter G, paid $50 in cash for phone service. Paid in cash, tells me cash goes down. What did I get for it? I got a month's worth of phone services. That's an expense, negative $50. So my new balance here is 800 minus 50. 750. Still have $2,100 in my delivery equipment. That's my two motor scooters. Still owe $600. He still put that original $2,000 in his business. And now I just have, oops, I need to go up with that, $250 in expenses. And that has to read negative because it's a negative 250. Because negative 200 minus 50 is a negative 250. Letter H, deliveries made on account amounted to $600. So, he made some deliveries. He's in the business of delivering. So when he makes deliveries, that's revenue. Let's put that in, $600 of revenue. Now, did he get the cash for it yet? No, it doesn't say received cash for deliveries. It says deliveries made on account. What that means is that his customers still owe him. So he's going to wait for that cash. So he's going to put it in accounts receivable until they pay him. 
So accounts receivable goes up $600. All right, so now we put in our new balances. This one needs to be 600 plus 500. And then we'll see if we are in balance. All right, so we add up our total assets and we get 3450 and we add up our total liabilities plus the owner's equity and it also equals 3450. So that will conclude this video. The next video will tell you how to summarize this and put it into financial statements. We need financial statements because we don't want to give this to our users. We want to give them information that's easier for them to read and more meaningful. So the next video will take this information and just put it into a report. Let me know if you'll have any questions.